Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a simple app in Python in which we can crop a image. Let's see. So as you can see, this app runs and it has a beautiful cat. So if I try to crop it, okay, click on here and after that I will press C. You can see my image is cropped now and I can repeat this operation as per my requirement again C and my image is cropped so let's try to understand how does this code work okay so first i import cv2 and numpy uh, it's a normal thing after that i have imported my library or cat image okay as you can see it is in the same folder where my project is after that what i have done is i have created a duplicate image du du it means duplicate okay and i have copy this image data the reason is that I don't want to, you know, damage the original image. That is the reason I have created a duplicate and name is image duplicate. Wow. After that, I have created a variable called false mouse pass. So, so basically mouse pass is false. Okay. Now I have defined something called starting X, starting Y, ending X, ending Y. So what is that? As you can see, if I hover my mouse, okay, suppose here, so there must be X and Y coordinates, okay, uh, that basically, you know, pixels, pixel value. So how much from X here and Y here? So this is the starting point. So this is sta starting X and Y and where I left my mouse, okay, this is the ending X and Y. Okay, so this is what I defined. It is currently minus one. The reason is that uh, in an image, there is no value such thing called minus one. So that is the reason by default it is minus one. I will define later onwards by using my mouse. So I have created something called a function mouse button. Okay. It takes parameter event x comma y flags and parameters. So I'm saying hey, it is global. It means uh, all the all every files function can take these parameters. So image duplicate starting x starting y and x ending x ending y and mouse pressed okay so first thing that if my left mouse button is clicked okay then mouse press will be true and starting x starting y will be uh, you know my cursor position so starting x starting y will be my cursor position and i'm saying hey that put this data to my image duplicate after that uh, as you can see after pressing left mouse uh, i didn't move my left mouse button i simply dragging it okay so this is what it means event mouse move okay so if my mouse is moving simply copy the data and you can see that x comma y is return the reason is that as i pressing so wherever my you know cursor is moving the rectangle shape you can see okay so this x comma y is represent the final position of my cursor and starting x starting by already defined and what i have done is if my you know left mouse button is uh, i remove from the left mouse button and it's up then mouse press is false and i will get the ending value so in that way i got my rectangle so i create a window name image and you know what i called by is image uh, function mouse button after that i will see hey while true i will see image image duplicate wait key a question is what is this so suppose i don't uh, write this condition so what will happen if i you know as you can see my i'm moving my mouse upward so if i don't write this condition i will get a very weird results if uh, you know if i do this let's see what i mean so let's cut this out save run it okay uh, first i need to you know uh, now now let's try to run it so if i have this and press c you can see it's not working not only that okay so if i try to do that it's not working if i press c it's not cutting it okay so that is the reason i have to define those conditions because it doesn't understand how the how is supposed to make a rectangle 
It's a simple math coordinate system, as you all guys know. If I press Ctrl S and run this, and now if I move like this and press C, you can see it can crop it now. Okay, so this is how it works. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. And for the code, check out the link in descriptions. I hope you guys learned something from this video. For any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.